99 years after it all started. It is down to Geelong and Carlton for the very first time on the last Saturday in September. The lead up has seen black ties, red eyes, the sensation, packed training venues, the teams cavalcaded through the streets, luncheons and laughter, a town coming to a standstill, a city coming to life. Geelong looking for its first premiership in 32 years. Carlton looking for its 16th win on end in a record-breaking season. For both teams, the moment has arrived. And with that introduction, viewers in the United States, England, New Zealand and throughout Asia were welcome to a live telecast of the 1995 AFL Grand Final. Hard to believe that these two inaugural members of the league had never met on a grand final Saturday. But that's the end of the story for the Blues. It really had its start way back on a Sunday in April. Same ground, different enemy. up to Carlton's Steve Kernahan and 87,000 were on hand to see him lead the Blues in the opener of 95 against the hated and feared Magpies. Among four newcomers to the side would be Scott Camparelli and Matthew Clappe. For Clappe, it would be a dream debut. Kicks into the forward pocket area. Punched away by the Collingwood defence. Not quite far enough. Clappe, handball over the top. Pierce, handball back. Clappe into an open goal. The 25-year-old West Australian had played 29 games with the Eagles, but in his first with the Blues would win the three Brownlow votes, one for each of his crucial goals. The Blues had started the season on the fifth line of betting at 10 to 1 for the flag. The bookies had little knowledge of the onslaught to come. The third quarter would be the vital one for Carlton, as it proved all year, and four goals gave the Blues a nice 17-point buffer at the last change. Fifty-four plays, thirty-seven. Back out to seventeen points. Away goes Clapay, doing well in his debut. Towards half forward, Williams will make a meal of this. No, he won't. Unselfishly goes to Ratton. Ratton goes nearly to the square. Pierce gives it back. Williams started it, and Williams finishes it. The final margin would be five goals. For the 106th time in 210 of these classic encounters, the points went to Carlton and coach Parkin spoke glowingly of his skipper. In our structure, absolutely critical. He's just been a superb bloke as a player and I think he's underrated as a player. I mean, people I talk to just don't understand how good a footballer he is, but his leadership qualities have just developed enormously in the last three years, I think, and he's become, in that role, critical to our, well, he was this year, critical. And he, he, in fact, led the players both on and off the field in terms of our organi you know, organisation and planning, and his, his input was very significant, I promise you that. Collingwood Ruck star Damien Monkhorst would be rubbed out for two weeks after being found guilty of striking Earl Spaulding on trial by video. A second Carlton debutant scooped the three Brownlow votes in round two. Scott Camparelli from Woodville West Torrens in Adelaide stamped his potential with an outstanding game against Fitzroy. Clappe kicked five more to take his tally to eight in two games and Carlton won by ten goals. Enough of the youngsters.